Well, other news, it was an emotional evening in Stockton tonight for a teen who was murdered at her school last week. Tonight, friends and family trying to come to terms with her death. Police say 15 year old Alicia Reynaga was on campus at Stagg High School on Monday when a stranger walked onto campus and stabbed her to death. And tonight she was remembered as an outgoing athletic student who played for the softball team. KCRA 3's Orko Mana was at tonight's vigil and spoke with those who are still trying to cope with this tremendous loss. Tears flow down Soraya Rodriguez's face as she accepts a warm embrace. She says she was close friends with 15-year-old Alicia Reynaga. She didn't like going by Alicia, she liked going by Lala. Soraya met Lala through the Stag High School softball team, the two sharing countless memories both on and off the field. She made a lot of us feel like really comfortable with her and she was just so goofy. Police say Alicia was stabbed to death around 11 a.m. Monday after a trespasser got onto the Stag High School campus. He was later identified as 52 year old Anthony Gray, who appeared in court this week. Soraya cannot believe one of her best friends is now gone. It's devastating to know that they won't be there anymore. Like. You won't be able to see them in the hall, see them at the game, see them at practices. That sense of loss felt by the many people at this vigil Friday night at Stag High School. Candles, flowers, and a photo of Alicia all placed near where those closest to her say her life was tragically taken. Family and friends hugging each other and lighting candles all in honor of Alicia. I hope that they can get through this hard time. Sabrina Guerrero is Soraya's aunt and is heartbroken by what happened. She wants to see safety improvements at the school. It's sad that something like this actually had to happen and somebody had to lose their life. I definitely think SUSD needs to really step up on their protocols with security. The Stockton Unified School District telling KCRA 3 earlier this week that they are now taking extra security measures. As changes take place, the whole community is sending well wishes to Alicia's family. I know it'll be very hard to get through this. It'll be much of a struggle, so just much thoughts and prayers. The outpouring of support felt by loved ones. It just really shows how deep like this hits home to a lot of people. She's forever going to be our lucky angel. Long live Lala, the Lala legacy. All these candles and balloons left over from the vigil Friday night, really showing just how much this community is supporting Alicia's family. Reporting in Stockton, Orca Mana, KCRA 3 News. This is just heartbreaking. Therapy dogs were also at tonight's vigil to help all those people cope with this very tragic loss.